Well, welcome everyone. It's uh, Daniel Stoneman here, Director of Explore Careers, and I'm thrilled to welcome today Richard Wallace, who is the Managing Director of KFC. Thanks for joining us today, Richard. Pleasure to be here, Daniel. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. Now, KFC, uh, an iconic brand. Uh, most people in Australia uh, know the KFC brand from a consumer product perspective. They consume your product. Um, but from the employer brand, especially with, I guess, students, um, they may not be as aware in terms of what that looks like from a careers perspective. Um, perhaps you can shed some light on what that looks like. Well, you know, KFC is, um, is part of a global uh, a company called, um, called Yum. And we own KFC, Pizza, Taco Bell, and a small brand in the US called Habit Burger. And we have over 50,000 restaurants around the world. So whilst everyone's heard of KFC, I'm sure you've heard of Taco Bell and Pizza Hut as well. Um, so um, global company and, and a Fortune 500 company uh, that, um, that uh, owns KFC. But here in Australia, obviously we're famous for our delicious fried chicken. But I think we're also famous for um, for building um, skills, capabilities, and building careers. Quite frankly, for for uh, many Australians, and and you know we've actually had um, a number of people from our Australian business and KFC in particular head around the world in in senior leadership roles, um, including myself. But uh, but we're mostly proud of I think you know building um, incredible uh, you know capabilities and skills right at the restaurant level from, from a very young age and having managers leading, you know, multi-million dollar restaurants also at a very young age. Yeah, absolutely. And I think if you look at, um, I guess, uh, you know, KFC and, uh, and your employees, um, a lot of them are, are, are kids at school, uh, are students. Um, so do you remember when you were at school what your first job was? Well, my first job was working in a, um, a little, uh, a little chicken shop. Actually, it wasn't KFC. The first job that I started when I was fifteen, and um, and uh, yeah, look, I, I've got to tell you, um, I'm naturally an introvert, and I think that first experience working in that uh, that little shop, little local shop, really allowed me to uh, to socialise, meet uh, a great group of people. And I'd have to say, some of the lessons I learned back then, working in that little shop, um, really, I still use today. So uh, it was a little company called Brodie's up in Queensland, a little uh, a chicken chain in, uh, in Queensland. Wow, okay. And then from there, so what was your big dream? You're working obviously in the chicken shop, you're at school. What, what was your dream when you left school? What, mm. did you want to, what did you want to be? What area did you want to get involved in? Strangely enough, I wanted to be a doctor. So, um, so I, uh, I, I studied university, I studied a science degree and I started doing an undergraduate degree and then I planned to go and, and study postgraduate medicine. And uh, and uh, just so happened, I started working at um, at Pizza as a delivery driver, just as a second job. And they asked me if um, if I'd like to do some shift leadership and management training and that sort of stuff. And um, I was only going to do it for a year until I found what I call a real job. And I will tell you right now, I'm still looking for a real job 25 years later. So. Um, so yeah, I, I, I sort of had this this plan to sort of study and, and do further study and, and get into medicine. But you know, um, my, the best laid plans. Um, you know, I, uh, I managed to uh, to land in in a job that has been incredibly rewarding for me and um, has taken me all around the world. So uh, a bit of a surprise, really. And what does that look like? So obviously, from that and thinking you're going to you know move into medicine, I think your medicine choice now is, is chicken. Um, um, but obviously, from from that level to obviously being managing director of you know of, of really a global brand and a global business, um, what did that journey look like in terms of leaving school and then going to you know and where you are today? Well, look, I was very fortunate that um, you know the managers and the and the above restaurant people in our business are focused on developing talent, and I think you know we. You know, I think it's one of one of our strengths is finding great people. And uh, someone sort of uh, looked at me and said, "Oh, I think you've got a bit of potential. Um, so, do you want to, you know, do you want to train in these different areas?" And you know, back then, even back then, you know, when you're a, an assistant manager or a manager, you're actually running multi-million dollar restaurants with um, staff. And even now, we have staff, you know, between 50 and 100 young staff that are teenagers that are often quite challenging to lead as, as it is. So, you end up getting a sense of whether 
you know, leadership skills come through pretty quickly. And if people that's identified, then we have a graduate program. I was part of a graduate program and I moved to Sydney and then um, did various roles in, in different parts of the organization and then um, and then moved through all around the country and then moved you know, to Canada and Singapore around the world as well. So um, I've been really, really fortunate that it all started out with someone you know, taking an interest in in, in my development, my and my uh, you know my future growth. Absolutely, and I guess when you look at um, you know students at the moment and they're and they're looking at KFC, um, I think you touched on there the graduate program. You have traineeship programs and obviously other entry points into the business through the restaurant. So, so what are some of the roles? So you've got a student there who goes great. They've got their local KFC. They'd love to go there for for part time work. You know, what is their career progression? They come into the business as you know what, and and then where, where where can they end up in their journey? Well, look, I think um, you know everyone will be familiar. We have thirty about thirty eight thousand team members around the country. You know, um, and those team members perform various roles in the restaurant, anywhere from cooking chicken to uh, to serving customers and making other products in the in the restaurant. And um, and those roles, you know, are, um, we're very good, I think, at developing people to perform those roles. And then, you know, depending on on you know on motivation and 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 also capability and willingness to learn and all those things, um, we'll often train people across multiple roles and then you know start into leadership roles like shift supervisor roles where they're running a, a shift and they're leading a group of people and uh, and then that would move into naturally something like an assistant manager or restaurant manager role uh, from there. And uh, you know we have you know, around Australia around 680 restaurant managers. Um, but then there's above restaurant roles that evolve from there as well, whether it be, as I said, a, a graduate program or there are area coach roles or, you know, region coach um, operations uh, lead roles. You know, we're a, we're a massive business, so there's just so many opportunities um, to grow from. But it really does start with the fundamentals, and that is getting to know, you know, some basic skills and demonstrating you can lead a group of people. And if you do that, then, you know, there's plenty of opportunities from, from there. Yeah, and I think probably one of the big things as well, where a lot of businesses, I guess, in your situation, they sometimes miss out on talent because they do have preconceptions and misconceptions. They do come out with particular skill sets. They do go to university and come out qualified in a particular area, but they don't think those transferable skills can be done at KFC because they just look at the restaurant. So I guess outside then, when you are talking to those those students um, that, that are coming out with the marketing, the HR and the accounting and, and business degrees, um, what is it that you want to tell them in terms of, I guess, the opportunities that you know KFC can provide them in their particular uh, choice of field? I think the the biggest one is we have an incredible culture. Firstly, and I think um, it really makes us quite distinctive as a business um, as well as as, a, as an employer. And um, you know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. So I think we, it's actually a great place to have fun and. Um, you know, our brand is a very authentic brand and I think it, we provide opportunities for people to be themselves. But we also acknowledge that people's careers won't always follow a linear path. And that means, you know, if they would like to learn how to train people, um, you know, working in HR is a, a possibility. If they um, love working with brand, some marketing as a background, we're one of the biggest brands in Australia, um, you know, in terms of, in terms of consumer brands. Um, if they if they want to work in uh, from an operations perspective, as I said before, we have various operating roles that both that restaurant and above restaurant, and we also build restaurants and uh, we've got development and design and all those sorts of roles um, as well. So there is a plethora of careers, but I think the common thread between it all is really that culture. As I said, we want people that um, that want to be themselves, that um, you know don't take themselves too seriously, but take their I think take their future growth seriously. And for those people, um, you know, right now we actually provide really quite detailed leadership training for, for very young young managers that I think um, puts them, I mean, I was just interviewing yesterday some graduates actually, just yesterday, and uh, I mean, I was a graduate 20 odd years ago. The caliber of them today is so much higher than, you know, than when I was around. And that ability for them to be able to get these experiences in marketing, HR, development, um, you know, operations at that age, just sets them up for, a, for a accelerating their career. And I think if you think about the transferable skills from our business, you know, not everyone stays for a long time, but I can tell you, we have many people that are in our business for, for many, many years. And the reason for that is, as I said before, I think the culture is quite unique and people love working for us. Um, so uh, yeah, does that answer the question? Does that make sense? 
Yeah, absolutely. And that was something I was going to touch on as well in terms of that training and I guess the training that you provide. Um, and then obviously, as you clearly said, we know that you know every time someone comes to work for you, they're not going to be there for their whole career journey. Um, but by working, coming into the business, they do have those transferable skills that we can take elsewhere. So they're not only earning part-time, they're not only doing a job, but they're learning along the way and importantly setting them up in, in the future, which is really important. So um, can you touch on some of the training, especially from, I guess, the students that we, we obviously engage with, obviously students at school, they come into your business. Can you just touch on just very, very, um, I guess, high-end in terms of um, the, the training that you provide? Look, I think the uh, it depends on the level, but if you start as a team member, obviously you get trained in the job you need to do at restaurant. Um, but I think, um, you know, if you said what do people take out of that over and above learning how to, you know, how to do some, um, you know, make burgers or cook chicken or, or serve customers. I think, you know, if you think about um, dealing with uh, dealing with customers, it can be quite um, it can be quite confronting. So giving people a confidence to be able to deal with situations they may not be used to, especially at you know, said so if you're 14 or 15 years old having to deal with, um, you know, problems that customers might have. Um, so we provide lots of support and lots of uh, lots of direction by how to deal with those sort of situations. But I think more importantly, it's how do you work as a group and as a team? And, you know, that is uh, a pretty fundamental skill. I think that where it really gets, um, uh, you know, quite valuable is when you look at how do you start to learn to lead others? And I think um, if you think about future opportunities and future work practices, I think one of the things that we see uh, is that, you know, maybe in the future, some uh, some of the administrative tasks that we would normally do as managers may not be there. I mean, technology provides some great solutions. But even during COVID, what we found is you can't work remotely. You can't, you know, use machines to, to really build culture. And I tell you that the most powerful leaders we have have learned how to lead a, lead a team in, in the restaurant. So I think if you look at the, the, the way we work through shift supervisors and managers, we provide um, what we'd call uh, character training, which is really how to build mental resilience and how to deal with stressful situations, both at work but also at home as well. And we have an incredible group in the restaurant that I think support each other. Um, and I know there's a lot of pressure on young people nowadays as well. So there is just, a, you know, a, I think a bias for us to make sure that you know, emotional and mental well-being is a big part of, you know, how do we make sure people actually have the resilience to work through that and the confidence to be able to deal with situations they come up against. So so there's obviously practical skills they learn, but there's also, I think, most importantly, some of the more, um, you know, uh, emotional, uh, you know, leadership and um, and resilience sort of uh, training that I think um, is, is beneficial more broadly. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess one of our audiences as well is obviously the career advisors at school that obviously have a, a big influence on students about what particular direction they're going to go. And of course, the parents, um, obviously, you know, I'm a parent and, um, uh, you know, it's a big, big uh, responsibility to, to help, you know, our kids try and point them in the right direction. So what, what advice or um, what would you be saying on behalf of KFC to career advisors and parents about the opportunities that you can provide their students or their kids? I think it's keep an open mind. I think, uh, you know, if you think about my trajectory, you know, even when I started a long time ago, if you'd asked me whether I would land in the role I'm in today, I would have said, no way. There is no way that I would have seen myself as managing director for KFC. In fact, when I said, you know, initially that, uh, you know, I, was, I needed it until I found a real job. You know, this is a real job and, and it really is, I didn't think it could be that much fun to, to do what I've done and to, be, you know, and that, that potential is open to anyone that starts in our restaurant, I've seen careers develop for many, many people, um, and I think that um, try, you know, go and go and visit a, a KFC restaurant, go and meet meet a few restaurant managers, um, and I think you know you'll be you'll be incredibly impressed at both the caliber and talent in our franchisees and in our restaurant managers, as well as some of the training and development that's offered in our restaurants. But but importantly, if you've got a, a you know humility and and a, and a willingness to grow. There are some brilliant careers um, that can take you to heights around the globe and, and, and across so many different functions and, and so many different experiences um, and making some some brilliant relationships and friendships along the way. Um, yeah. So yeah, I would say don't don't have you know um, don't have preconceived ideas about what we stand for and what what the employment uh, situation might be like. Go and have a look. Go and speak to some people, and uh, I think you'll have be be surprised about um, what you can get from a career with Yum Brands or with KFC.
Absolutely. And, and right now, I guess we, we, we know where you are today in terms of KFC. In the next, say, five to 10 years, where, where do you see the KFC business uh, in terms of the business itself, uh, you know, the product, in terms of perhaps maybe the skill set the business is going to need? So, you know, students are listening to this and they're thinking, you know, what, what type of subjects or university? Are there particular areas that you think are going to develop over the next five, 10 years for KFC? Look, I think one of the big ones, and this is many companies will be the same, is that, you know, there is a, a swing towards technology being a, a, an enabler for our business. So you know, technology helping um, our customers get our product quicker, um, do, you know, whether it be uh, through mobile apps, whether it be through different ways of delivering food. You know, we built a, a very innovative restaurant in Newcastle, a drive through only restaurant with five lanes. So we, the first one in the world actually was built there. So having creative people actually working for us. I think, you know, innovation is going to play a big role, whether it be driven by technology or the products that we, we offer. Um, but I think that we know what we stand for and we stand for delicious fried chicken. And that's something we, we want, you know, people love people. We want people to have a smile on their face when they try our product. But what's really different is I think the way that people will access our products. So whether it be, you know, how do we, um, how do we build, uh, you know, technology within restaurants that makes it much easier for the customer to access it, or whether it be um, ways that make our customers feel, um, uh, uh, you know, that they can get the product quicker, those sorts of things. So technology is a big one. I think the other one is, um, uh, as I said before, one of the one of the key changes I'm seeing is the skills that you learn, the technical skills you learn aren't as important as the ability you have to lead people and build relationships with people. And I think that that will be a core, you know, a core skill. And it's not something necessarily you learn at university, quite honestly. Um, even though I went to university, I learned how to learn and I learned a lot and I met some great people. I think, you know, relationship skills and the ability to, to lead a group of people, I think will remain a, a key differentiator for people's careers moving forward. Absolutely. And you've got students now who are listening to this and saying, Richard, I'm sorry, loving this, w- want to get down and, and speak to my local restaurant. Obviously, there's a lot of students there who haven't worked before. Um, they haven't had a job before. Um, you know, one of the biggest things we get from schools is great opportunities for, for young people at school level, but they've got nothing to put on their resume. I'm not quite sure what they should do. What would be your advice from the managing director to the students who want to come work for restaurants, but perhaps maybe have got nothing to put on the paper? Um, what would be your suggestion to them? I'd say, um, I'd say be honest about what you don't know and what you want. And I think, um, I think we actually take people with the right attitude, with a, with a growth mindset, people that want to grow and want to develop. And I think that we give them the, the skills they need to do the job. I think um, I think have the courage to, to go and meet uh, meet the restaurant manager, introduce yourself, or if, um, you know, you can even get online. I mean, there is a, there's an easy application process online, but we, we pride ourselves in the ability to take people with not a resume and build one, actually. That's, that's what we do. And I would say that my resume started back when I first started working in, in QSR uh, the same way, which I had nothing on the resume. Thankfully, someone took a took a um, you know uh, took me under their wing, and I tell you what, um, I've never looked back. And so I would say, have the courage, go and um, you know go and talk to the restaurant manager, be open-minded, be humble, and, and have a growth mindset. And I think uh, we can we can work with you. Absolutely, and obviously, you know, life experience is obviously what you've had in terms of obviously the opportunities working overseas, um, and then obviously from a career perspective, obviously you've seen the journey from from the from the, the chicken shop in Queensland and now running obviously one of the most iconic brands, you know, in the world. Um, what advice can you give, you know, students today who are uh, at school, they're trying to work out what they want to do, they're being asked to choose subjects, do you want to go to university, do you want to go to TAFE? Is there any advice that you can give, especially from your own journey, but also perhaps maybe with the, with the amount of employees that you have, seeing the different journeys people have gone through, um, some key bits of takeaway that students can, can take with them? Look, as I said before, I think humility and growth mindset are two things that are pretty important. That means, you know, be honest about what you don't know and, and have a natural curiosity to, uh, to really grow. And I think when you do that, you'll actually start opening yourselves to experiences that um, you may have closed yourself to. So I think sometimes if you fixate on what you really want to do, it may close you to opportunities that you might actually not have considered. Um, and I think the other piece is take some risks, you know, put yourself out of your comfort zone, challenge yourself to take, uh, you know, um, you know, risks in, in experiences and see what you enjoy. Don't sort of have preconceived ideas about what you may or may not like until you've tried some of those those experiences. 
Um, you know, if I think about careers today, I, I would never have thought there'd be a role for a social media manager or an app developer in the KFC business, but there is. And so things evolve and develop. And I think you need to have a sense of being nimble, being on your toes, as opposed to sort of being flat footed and caught off guard. So be open to new experiences, be nimble, um, you know, uh, take some risks. Um, and the other thing is don't let other people decide for you, you know, what your future can be. I think, you know, um, for people that have, as I said, that humility and the growth mindset, I think that there is opportunities, you know, across our business, but, but also, I mean, across many businesses that maybe you've not thought of because you haven't broadened your thinking. So open yourself to experiences, talk to as many people as you can, and, uh, and really be quite curious and, and have an open mind. Well, I think that, that's a, a, a good bit of advice there. Uh, and it might be covering off what you've just gone through, but um, what we're asking all the CEOs, um, obviously during this period, um, with obviously uh, our secondary school students about to head into exams, um, again, is there any advice that you can give them through, I guess, more through the exam period in terms of, um, you know, they're a, bit, they're a bit nervous, they're not quite sure what's going on. Um, can you give them some advice around, you know, words of encouragement? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, if I think about the CEOs that we've had across our business and our senior leaders, I think there is a, a huge mix of ability to have the smarts, the heart and the courage to be successful. One of our CEOs said this, and they're an equal measure. I mean, you know, often academic results can be a bit of a commodity or it can be, you know, whereas I think if you've got, um, you know, emotional smarts, if you can be, if you can, you know, don't put pressure on yourself to be a one dimensional person. If you've got courage and you've got an ability to connect with people and build relationships, our best performers around the world balance how they actually can achieve results. And it's not just about academic performance. It's about your ability to deal with, you know, social situations, it's about ability to build relationships with people. And it's your ability to take risks and take new experiences. So, um, you know, it's a stressful situation. And, uh, and I think, um, you know, don't put so much pressure on yourself that you forget the, the, the broader, um, you know, the, how the world works. The world doesn't work in a linear way. There's so many opportunities out there. And uh, as I said, many of our most successful people have a very balanced view. And, and we have a very balanced view, quite honestly, about how we recruit talent. And the most successful people we have, have a balance of all of that, not just academic ability. It becomes, it's, it's more than just that. Right. And I guess students now who are interested, the best thing for them to do, a bit of advice in their local areas, to go down to their local restaurants, put their hand up, ask to speak to the, the restaurant manager and put their foot forward. Uh, alternatively, they can jump online and there's obviously the online application there. And then thirdly, they can obviously jump on to explorecareers.com.au where the, obviously the KFC profiles there and all the information about careers and future careers and how they can apply. I think we have around 1,500 active jobs at the moment. So you can jump on there um, and find your local store and apply. But um, look, Richard, we really appreciate your time today. I think that's given us a fantastic insight to the KFC business and importantly, the, the breadth of opportunities that are available to, to the right people who want to uh, really get in there and and, um, and do everything they want to do in their career can certainly be done with KFC. There's certainly no ceiling there. So we, we really appreciate your time and um, we wish you and KFC all the very best for the remainder of the year. Appreciate it, Daniel. Thanks for uh, uh, letting, me, uh, letting me have a chat with you. Appreciate it. Thanks very much.